Welcome back to Book Break. In this video, I'm going to dive into some of the hottest book cover trends I have noticed this year. The first one I'm going to talk about is one that has been very much talked about. It is absolutely everywhere. This is the trend for books with women on the cover who are, in a phrase coined by The Guardian, well-dressed and distressed. That article went on to elaborate, their lives are tough, their clothes are stylish, their faces are hidden. And I also really like a tweet from Alice Slater. She described this trend as the reclining woman who has definitely checked out trend. I actually love this trend on books. This always inspires me to pick up a book because these women look basically how I feel, exhausted. Obvious examples of books with this trend on the cover would be Sorrow and Bliss, Careering, Love and Other Puzzles, and our very own Vladimir by Julia May Jonas. I also am gonna say that Lapvona fits this trend. It's just that it's a lamb face planting instead of a human woman. But these kind of pictures, I think, are just a particular subsection of a wider trend towards more photographic covers. We have had years of illustrative covers ruling, and now I think photos are starting to take over, whether it's photos of faces, photos of hands, photos of places. So of course, having said that, that doesn't mean that the trend for illustrations is going anywhere. In fact, it's broadening. You get illustrated covers that show you a book is going to be a romance. These Emma Lord covers have a really nice range of slightly different types of illustrations, which are all really, really cute. But also I think that Sally Rooney-esque covers have meant that illustrations can also look slightly more literary as well. So I love this cover on disorientation. That works really well. The next major trend I've been noticing is for the colour green. Green is the new pink in 2022. So millennial pink may have defined my generation, but for Gen Z, green is taking over. And not just on book covers, honestly, everywhere I look, I see people in green floaty dresses, green trousers. Note to self, I must get some of those. This works for me. Green is my favourite colour. And the trend for green on book covers has been building for a while now. Who can forget The Testaments by Margaret Atwood, which was teased right from the beginning with just block green all over Vintage's social media. We also see green used really well on My Sister the Serial Killer, on the brilliantly named I Love Dick. Her Body and Other Parties is another example. All these books use green really effectively and I'm just seeing more and more of it. From non-fiction like In Defense of Witches to this beautiful cover on The House of Fortune, which is historical fiction, green on a book cover looks stunning. I'm also noticing more and more gold on book covers. And again, this is a trend that's been building for a really long time, but I am seeing so much of it at the moment. So the Atlas VI, for example, looks amazing. So shimmery and shiny with all of that gold foiling. Devotion uses those amazing gold letters. And The Dance Tree by Kilwin Mowood Hargrave is just completely gold. Florals on book covers are looking gorgeous at the moment. And again, there's loads of different types. So you get books like Circus of Wonders, like The Ophelia Girl, with these really intricate floral details. Freya Mask's books, A Marvelous Light and A Restless Truth, use florals for this amazing sort of wallpaper effect. On the cover of Clodo Hill and of Women and Salt, we see flowers over faces. In The Exhibitionist, the flowers are coming out of the house. And flowers can be really cross-genre. It doesn't have to be for beautiful literary fiction or for historical fiction. So on the cover of Daisy Darker, we see flowers used really effectively on a thriller. Blackwater Sister uses loads of florals for a fantasy and Exhalation by Ted Chang uses this floral imagery for a sci-fi book. There are so many different factors that drive different book cover trends, but sometimes you can see that it is the influence of a particular book that was really, really popular. I mean, just think back to the late noughties, how many YA book covers you saw that looked like the cover of Twilight. Recently, one that we started noticing is lots of books that are designed to look like the cover of Where the Crawdads Sing. That book was such a huge hit, and so it is not surprising that other books are trying to hop on that trend. And stuff like this does work. I loved Where the Crawdads Sing, so I am inclined to pick up other books that even subconsciously remind me of it. 
So I would love to know what book cover trends you have been noticing. Do leave a comment below letting us know some of your favourites, maybe some of your least favourites as well. I will also link here to a video I made before comparing UK and US book covers because the trends can be really different across the pond. Do click through and watch that video and let us know if you prefer the UK or US book covers and I'll see you next time.